one, of course. And you, you'll hear it right here on CBS News. You hear the undertones and how much... Hi, turn your radio down. Uh, Glenn, on the can drive? Yes. That money, uh, they're not handing out cash to these people, are they? Uh, no. The Food. money, no, no, no. All the money goes to the urban mission. The cash does not go to the people. None. Not a dime. Goes right to the place that facilitates uh, everything in, as far as food, uh, you know, just nourishment for children. Uh, the, I've been inside uh, the, and you have as well, Bobby, inside the yep. urban mission. It is. A, it, I can't imagine what this neighborhood would look like without it. There so, are certain days that there's a line down the block. Down the block of people waiting Fridays. to come in and get food and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and families, young people. And so, in answer to your question, no. And and your neighbors. Right, right. And <laughs> some people drive up in nice cars too. People are struggling. Yeah, you another know? question. A woman you interviewed, Glenn. Yeah. Uh, apparently, she gave hypodermic needles to a nine and ten year old child. That it, doesn't uh, bother you? No, it does after the fact. But and apparently, I, she so I, broke into a home on Michigan Avenue. Is that correct? No, Mechanic Street. Just to be just just to, Mechanic to, Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the place she mentions it during the video. Uh, uh, and she yeah, wants to convert maybe into a we homeless. Look another, uh, uh, well, I know. She, I, I found a homeless person that that looked at me. And says, "Are you a news guy?" I said, "No." I says, oh, do you want to talk to me? Because I had seen her. The, she's a homeless person. You're not going to find, you know, Elon Musk on the streets of, of, of Factory Street. You're going to find, in many cases, people who've broken the law. I, 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 yeah, but can you help these people? I think a lot of these people belong on a psychiatrist's couch. I, 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 I'm going to say this. I agree. Now, where does it end? No, no, listen. Listen to me. We, we can Bobby on the county. <laughs> Just a minute, Glenn. Bobby on the county. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. You can. Yes. You're giving free rides to these people to the get across man. the city. Is that correct on county money? I believe the city's doing that. No, the county. I believe the city's doing that. No, I think you're wrong. I think the county's doing that. The you county doesn't. The, the, pop the, quiz. the county doesn't have a busing system yet. They're giving out tickets. Uh, you know, Miss Ryder. I don't know. No. Uh, I have no idea. No, I think the county's behind it. I don't think the city has anything to do with it. I, I was told by our county administrator that the city was giving bus rides between the uh, Salvation Army in the morning and to New Life in the afternoon. Maybe, Maybe I'm wrong. And, and, and back and forth. All right. Yeah, you, you, you don't have a problem with that? Uh, you know what uh, I'm honestly, saying? What, honestly, <laughs> it, it, the city buses are going back and forth. Regardless whether they have one person in it or thirty people in it, okay, the city buses are running the route. All right, so to me, for them to go up there and pick them up. So if you're if you're a merchant on uh, on the square, and every morning at nine o'clock the parade starts and goes between nine and ten o'clock with the shopping carts, and the baggies, and people walking across town in the snow in the crappy weather. Right. Yeah, I have a problem with that. I do too. Okay, I have a problem with that, problem especially with when the bus. That don't want to help. Wow. It, it, well, the, you, listen, you know there's I mean, always. The, I know, but what are we. You uh, cannot help people that don't want to help themselves. There's plenty uh, of issues. We could help people that have made, like, see, people with sick children that have to go out of the area. Right. We do that too. Children's gas, Miracle Network. People that work their whole life. We're bending over backwards for these homeless people that have. Half of them don't even live here in this area. Well, at least we can Why feed them. Why are you spending my tax money on these people? Uh, a lot of it's well, donations. You donations. know what I mean? I don't mind helping people that, uh, that are sick and they can't help themselves. A lot of these people are badass people. I'm sorry. Right. Well, there's there's a lot of things that happen with, them with, 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 with younger people. when If they're hungry or they want something right. and they're down on it, right. and people aren't giving a handout, right. and they need something, and they're going to steal it. Or they're gonna uh, i got to move on. My, I, we, t- we, you, we take your notes I don't, very I seriously. Don't, I don't Thank appreciate you. that, but I'm just saying that's, that's a right. fact right. of life. Hi, you're on the air. He's not going to listen. Hi, you're on the air. It's all right. Hi, Glenn. I'm just calling. The New Life Ministry, is that where that used to be the old cinema? It is. Yes, yes. Um, there's a child care center within that. Yeah, there yes, there, there, is. Yeah, there is. I'm not quite sure how they're yes, working that is. out. Hold up. But it's a pretty big building, and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, they've, they've taken that into consideration because uh, it, it's important to keep the kids safe. So I, I know they're they're putting on extra staff and they're they'll take the proper precautions to separate where the children would be and where these people would be. Yeah. I really, really hope they are careful because I do too. No, I do too. Yeah. Years ago there was an incident. Our children attended Sacred Heart Church mm-hmm. school. Yeah. And across the street street yeah. there was a child care center and also 
Jefferson County Probation had a counseling session for pedophiles within that building. Hmm. Stop it. Wow, that's, no. a, that's a bad Ask combo. Mary Graham. Ask Mary Graham. I'm not kidding. Hmm. When was this? This was many years ago. That's like having an arsonist, you know, <laughs> at the fire department. Well, I mean, which, here's it's crazy. The clincher. Yeah. One of the children that had been molested was within that daycare center, as was the pedophile. I mean, this is no joke. I hope they are... Uh, yeah. I don't know mm. how, but I hope they are getting a background on these people that are near children. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I, I know the pastor at that church, uh, the old pastor, and his son is the pastor at New Life now. Yeah. And uh, you know, Kirk. Kirk. And, yeah, and, and, Christ, and, yeah. and they they have a, a they have a heart for for everyone. They they love everyone. But, but they should I, know. I, they should but know. But I I, yeah. I will tell you that. There's no way they're going into this blindly, mm-hmm. and if they're going to have this type of a service for these people, there will be strict rules, and right. um, there will be enough. There will be enough people to watch and monitor. Uh, I, I, I have a lot of faith in them. Mm-hmm. It does scare me exactly what you said, because that's the first thing I thought of. I'm like, don't they have a pretty big daycare facility there? Right. And you know, if, I, if my kid was going to school there, I'd have some questions. Mm-hmm. You know, oh. so you, that you're right, right to ask that question. Well, that, you know, right. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I got to move on only because I'm I'm behind my my okay. friend. But thank you, thank you for thank the call. You. That's Thanks. something to consider.